What's up, everybody? Welcome to a Friday edition of The Squeeze. I am Tyler Connie. I'm Friday once again, and I apologize. I think I had the microphone volume a little bit too high yesterday, so I try not to talk too loud into it, but I think it might have been a little bit crackly, so if you listen to the audio version, I do apologize there. Interesting night last night. You have the NBA draft. We had, not officially, but I had Scoot Henderson at plus 220 to go second overall, and then had Brendan Miller at plus 220. So I probably should have bet more on that to make sure it was a win either way, but I really thought it was going to be Scoot, but it wasn't. It was Brandon Miller. Looking at the outfits might have been a smart choice there for Charlotte, <clears throat> taking Brandon Miller. Raptors draft Grady Dick with the 13th spot, and I was hoping for Cam Whitmore or Keontae George, but I think Grady Dick's going to be a really good player for the Toronto Raptors, I think. He is exactly what they need. Um, interesting suit choice on him as well. He's wearing the, the sparkly Dorothy uh, slipper suit in respect to uh, Kansas, which is where he's from, and is also where he went to school. So fun night there. And then in terms of the betting, it was a one and two night. So we hit on the Mystics and the the sky went under. Washington is now 10 and one to the under this season. So that probably is going to become an automatic fire going forward for the WNBA. And we had the Pirates and the Marlins to go over four in the first five. It was two to one, so that ended on a three, which was a bummer. Just needed one more run there. Pittsburgh actually scored two. I thought Miami would be able to get more, but they didn't. And then interest, very interesting. I was very excited for the BC Lions and the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. And I thought, you know, if BC puts up 25, we are golden on the over. BC put up 30, but they held Winnipeg to six points, the league's most potent offense. So not the way I think a lot of people expected that game to go between the Lions and the Bombers. Big statement game there with Vernon Adams. Uh, so very interesting to see. Now the BC Lions move to 3-0 and on the CFL season. So before we get into today's picks, just want to talk about this QR code on the screen. Also, the link is in the description below uh, if you're watching on your mobile or on uh, Spotify or Apple. If you use that link below, you sign up for a new sportsbook and place at least a minimum deposit. You're guaranteed the best offers and exclusive bonuses not available anywhere else thanks to my partnership with Betstamp and through these sportsbooks as well. So again, use that code, use the link below, sign up for a sportsbook, make at least a minimum deposit, nothing else required. You're automatically going to get those bonuses and those exclusive offers. Offers. So let's talk about today. We're going to start in the Canadian Football League once again. You've got the Montreal Alouettes facing the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Hamilton comes into this coming off a 32 to 14 loss. They're now 0 and 2, which is interesting because they were arguably the third or fourth best team going into this season. Um, they were burned by a couple of end zone interceptions um, that Toronto had in the last game. They were not, they're going to be without Bo Levi Mitchell, the quarterback today. Um, and so that's going to be mean Matthew Schultz is going to play. However, he was two and one last year. And I'm still rolling with the Hamilton Tiger Cats on the, the spread, minus two and a half, because I just don't think Montreal is very good at all. Um, I think Matthew, Matthew Schultz is going to be able to protect the ball. I think they're going to run, have to run the ball a lot. As long as he doesn't turn the ball over, I think they should still be fine and they can rely on their defense. I'm not sure that Matthew Schultz is necessarily even a downgrade from Bo Levi Mitchell. Um, and I just, you know, Montreal is coming off a bye week. Their week one win was against Ottawa. So now they're sort of, you know, higher in the rankings and everything. Ottawa is the worst team in the CFL and it's not close. So I don't think that that's all that impressive. I wouldn't panic if I'm in Hamilton yet. Yeah, there's an 0-2 start, but it's a long season in the CFL. I think they're going to be fine. Um, like I said, Bully of Mitchell didn't play all that well. Two end zone interceptions last week anyway. So I think you still have essentially the same Hamilton Tiger Cats team with Schiltz behind center. And as long as he doesn't make those same mistakes, I think they should be fine. Again, I don't like Montreal at all. Um, again, they've come out of a bye week after a week one win against Ottawa, but Eh, I'm still going to take the Hamilton Tiger Cats. They are the better football team, and you're getting them for less than a field goal at home in their home opener. Hamilton Tiger Cats, minus 2.5. That's minus 110 at Bet Rivers. Shifting to Major League Baseball, here's one I don't get. The Kansas City Royals are at the Tampa Bay Rays, and you're getting minus 116 for Tampa on the run line? What? I know Kansas City just won yesterday, but you've got a 52 and 26 Tampa team that's 43 and 35 on the run line going up against a 21 and 54 Royals team that's 25 and 50 on the run line. To boot, they've got Zach Granke going today. We've talked about this before. Zach Granke at home, good. Not so much this year, better. 
Zach Greinke on the road, 0-4 with a 6.15 ERA. Is Kansas City going to win two of three against the Tampa Bay Rays? I don't think so. They've lost seven of their last 10 baseball games, including a 9-4 loss, a 5-2 loss, a 7-4 loss. Going for Tampa today is Zach Eflin, who's 8-3 with a 3.26 ERA. At home this season, he's 7-0 with a 1.85 ERA. So you've got 7-0, 1.5 ERA, going against 0-4 with a 6.14 ERA, and you're getting minus 116 for Tampa on the run line. I'm going to take that bet. You can get that at Bet Rivers, Tampa on the run line. Last bet of the day, we're going to the WNBA. We've got the Dallas Wings at the Los Angeles Sparks. Listen, this one is... Um, the odds are lined for this to be a coin flip. I'm betting this a sort of a coin flip. You can take either side of this if you want. This is a coin flip game. It's minus 110 to LA. It's minus 110 to Dallas. It's minus 110 to the over. It's minus 110 to the under. Dallas comes into this game six and six. LA comes into this game five and seven. Dallas is four, seven and one ATS. LA is five, six and one ATS. Dallas is six and six to the over. LA is five and seven to the over. There's not a lot to that, really, aside from the fact that the Wings are 0 6 and 1 ATS in their last seven games following a win. They're 1 and 5 in their last six against the Western Conference. They're also 1 and 4 ATS in their last five against a team with a losing record. LA, the under is 4 0 in their last four overall. Sparks are also 5 and 1 ATS in their last six Friday games. The Wings uh, are, they've played well in LA, but they are facing injuries. They've got DeShields, who's out till late August with a knee injury, and they've got Lopal Senegal that's out till mid July with the knee injury. I just think uh, LA is going to be the better team here tonight. It's a home game, it's a Friday night game. They play well heading into the weekends for whatever reason that might be. You have Dallas traveling to a different time zone. So, you know, I have no reason for you not to take the Dallas Wings aside from, again, Coming off a win, Dallas hasn't been great. LA has been good at home. And I think the playing in their home court and in their time zone is going to be of benefit. So I'm taking the LA Sparks straight up money line. It's minus 110. You know, you can take the other way if you want to. It is a coin flip, but I think it's actually moving more towards the favor of LA. Looks like the latest odds might be around 115, 120. But if you can find it at 110, I got that at DraftKings. Jump on that. So. Again, use the QR code on the screen or the link in the description below. Sign up for one of these sports books. I've got Bet Rivers and DraftKings today. Make at least a minimum deposit. You're guaranteed the best exclusive offers and bonuses. And my card for today, I've got the Hamilton Tiger Cats, minus two and a half. That's minus 110 at Bet Rivers. I've got the Tampa Bay Rays on the run line. That's minus 116 at Bet Rivers. And I'm taking the LA Sparks on the money line, minus 110 at DraftKings. As always, drop a comment if you're fading or following. You can follow me on Twitter at Tyler for picks, props, and sports throughout the day. TikTok and Instagram for just your picks portions and your audio is on Spotify and on Apple. Have a great Friday and let's talk sports.